This is Wilson Morales talking to actor Brian Hook, star of the new film, Laughing to the Bank. What's it like premiering at ABFF? Uh, wonderful, man. It's great. Anytime you put, you know, all your hard, you know, work into a project, into a film or something like that, and finally get to, you know, the place to where you let, you know what I mean, the audience screening, man, it's always a good feeling. A lot of people don't make it that far. We may even might fall off the boat before then. So, we here, we there, it's going down, man, and I'm, you know, real happy about it. You know what I mean? They're in there right now watching the movie. So, for those who haven't seen it yet, what's the movie about? It's basically a uh, modern day uh, Hollywood shuffle. And it's sort of like my story, you know, well, Hollywood shuffle with Robert Townsend. It was his story as he navigated through Hollywood and how he saw it. And this is, in a sense, sort of, you know, where I'm at in Hollywood and my uh, story and getting to the next level. But with that, there's a whole lot of, you know, drama and funniness surrounding that. So that's pretty much what the film is about. It has the tone of like a hangover. Uh, and so, you know, that's what it is. Now, you've been working for a long time. A lot of people have seen some of your movies. They may not have been all on a big screen, but one way or another, whether it's through DVD, through bootleg, through TV, <laughs> your films have been seen. So how did you get involved with this particular project? Uh, this project was me doing what I do, man. Um, it had been a, a minute, you know what I mean? I was, um, you know, I had my kids and, you know, and I was a little, also a little tired coming out the Eve show and then I did the movie Fool's Go and, you know, I wasn't really taking a break because I was doing a lot of stuff behind the scene and financing uh, films for up and coming filmmakers and stuff like that. Um, but after a couple of years, you know, um, you know, folks will start, I'm walking the streets and they're like, yo, man, what you been up to? And I'm like, I've been chilling. And then after the umpteenth, like, yo, what you been up to? I'm like, wait a minute, what you mean what I've been up to? I've been doing my thing. But I realized that I haven't really been in front of the camera. So, and that's what they used to seeing me. So all that behind the scenes stuff was cool. But for them, they wanted to be fed, you know what I mean? And I'm uh, blessed to have an audience out there to appreciate and likes you know, my work, so, you know, I figured it was time for me to step up and do something else, and um, all, everything just came together, Bernard and I linked together, we went in, you know what I mean, I made this film, I knew I wanted to make a comedy, and, um, and, and you know, so here we are. Knowing what to take to make it, to knowing what it takes to make it in this business, especially as a comedian, what did you find challenging, you know, just writing the story, putting it together, getting the cast? I think, um, you know, it, it, you know, making a film, there's so much that goes into making a film, man, and it's a lot of, it's, a, it's an uphill battle. I think my background has always been independent filmmaking, so I've always had to put up my own money or find someone to co-finance the movie with me. I've always had to make movies with, um, you know, one hand, two hands tied behind my back, so to speak. So I never had, you know, uh, every resource at my fingertips to make a film. So, um, it, it, I, I say it's always a challenge, but at this point, you know, again, I've always had to make it happen for nothing or very little. So now it's just, you know, it's second nature and it's what I do. Um, if I had to say what's the most difficult thing to do, it's to finance it. But then on that front, I always put my own money into my own projects, which I've been afforded the, you know, uh, to be able to do that because of my independent background and always making my own films. So, so, so with that, you know, I say, you know, that the whole thing is a challenge, but, you know, this is day one for me has been a challenge, and that's sort of been my path and my journey. So, you know, it's, it's just second nature. I expect the obstacles, and, you know, I go out and I get it done. As an actor who's been working for a long time, and obviously you've seen other comedians come up in this game, you know, um, any regrets, you know, that, Maybe you haven't found that big starter that some of these other individuals that you have seen come after you have maybe found? Mm -hmm. I think, um, you know, I got uh, asked that sometime because, you know, a, a lot of people who appreciate and like and respect my work and they're like, yo, man, you should have been and you should be. And, you know, and, and, and my thing is, it's kind of like everybody's journey is just different, period in life, you know what I mean? And there'll be other folks that may come along with somebody tomorrow who I've never heard of or you've never heard of, you know, shoot to the moon. And that's just sort of, you know, how it goes in this business. And that's their journey. And you can't really, you know what I mean? You get your feelings hurt and you'll get very discouraged if you try to compare, you know, your personal journey to another actor or entertainer's journey because it's, it's always, 
gonna be different, man. And I've learned to just, you know, accept, you know, what comes to me and accept, you know, and sort of just enjoy the journey and enjoy the ride. So like, I love making independent films and I tell people this often, it's like, I've been, um, you know, say Fool's Gold, for instance, a $90 million budget studio film that was shot in Australia for seven months. And, and that was great and it was wonderful and it was good company, but I honestly get more gratification out of my smaller independent films where, you know what I mean, the, the, the craft person is, is the PA, is the such and such, because, you know, most people are there when you're not working with all the money in the world because they want to be. And it's just the bond that you create. And when you finish the film against all those odds, and you know what I mean, and now from that, you're getting a theatrical release, like with Laughing to the Bank, it's just so, gratifying man so I say that to say I love it you know what I mean and it's sort of it's sort of been uh, the, the, it's, it's just sort of been a foundation for me to have to you know take that journey where it was just a long hard grind and I'm still grinding but it's just you know it's just who I am and that's just how it goes you know what I mean and one day you know it, it'll kick into the next gear and that might have been last week or last month or it might be you know, a week from now or a year from now, but whenever it happens, it just happens, man. And I'm just, you know, blessed to be making films and just enjoying, you know, my ride, man. So whenever this movie comes out, what's a good reason for people to go see Laughing to the Bank? I think there has been a void for, like, urban comedies. Um, and, and even in saying it's an urban comedy, I, I think it definitely has the ability to appeal to, you know, you know, anyone young and who enjoys comedy and, and laughing uh, so you know the Fridays three strikes you know the next Fridays and the movies like that they're not really being done with QB sort of doing the family thing and, and is taking it to the next uh, so to speak and they're, they're not really being fed you know what I mean that urban world who enjoy those films and that niche film hasn't been fed so this is something that fits that slot you know what I'm saying and and I think I think I took it to the next as far as your average, you know, um, urban film, so to speak, you know what I mean? I think we have a very strong story in this, and I think, you know, we push the envelope with the, uh, with, with the comedy and stuff like that, man. So, I think everybody's gonna, um, gonna enjoy it, man, and I think if you want to laugh and you like to laugh, then you're definitely gonna dig the film. Alright, thanks a lot. Take care.